So here's a situation that pops up sometimes in the Articulate Storyline forums at eLearning Heroes. A Storyline user shared this example where she had created this interaction where she had inserted these numeric entry fields on her slide, right? And she was asking, is it possible to require my learners to enter something in all three of these fields before they can move on in the course? And yes, this is definitely possible, and here's a way that you can do that. First thing is, we have this trigger over here in the trigger panel that allows the learner to jump to the next slide, right? That's a built-in trigger that Storyline creates for us, and we're just going to modify that a little bit. We're going to add some conditions to it. So I'm going to double-click to open the trigger wizard. Now, conditions are really cool because they tell Storyline to go ahead and perform this action that's described in the trigger, but only if certain conditions are met. And here are my conditions. I'm going to click the Show Conditions button, and then we'll click the plus sign to begin adding some conditions. So basically, we're going to create three conditions, and we want all three of the conditions to be true. We're going to tell Storyline that they can only move on to the next slide if all three of these values in these numeric entry fields are something other than zero, basically a positive value. So let's deal with the first one. Um, we've selected variables here because these are um, there are variables associated with these numeric entry fields that Storyline has created for us. So the first one um, is this one called pound. I named it pound so that it would correspond you know, to this line in my table. And we want that value to be greater than zero, right? Something other than zero. So I'm going to click greater than a value of zero. So that condition is all done. Now we need to create a similar one for the other two. So I'm going to click the plus sign again. And variables is selected, so we're going to choose yen this time. And again, we're going to say it needs to be greater than a value of zero. And then the third one is the peso, and we're going to make that also greater than a value of zero. And now we're all set. That's going to take care of keeping the learner on this slide. They won't be able to proceed um, unless all three values have you know, something other than zero, a positive value in them. But what if they do try to click the next button without filling all three fields? Well, right now, if they do that, nothing happens. The next button just doesn't respond, and the learner can't move on. But a lot of developers like to create a message or some kind of cue to let the learner know, oh, you have to fill in those three fields. So if you want to do that, a slide layer is really the best way to go. So what I've done down here in the slide layer pane is I've created a real simple layer. It's just got this partially transparent rectangle over it. It's got a text box. And then I also added a button here that allows the learner to close the layer so that they can go back to the base layer and finish filling in their numeric fields. So you can see in the trigger pane, um, this trigger that I've added to this button is basically just saying to get rid of the layer. So hide the layer when the user clicks on the OK button. So once they do that and they come back here, they can finish filling out the form. So now the only thing left to do here is to tell Storyline when we want that layer to show up. And we want it to show up if the learner doesn't fill in these fields, right? Well, we can create that behavior with a trigger too. So over here in the trigger pane, I'm going to click Create a New Trigger. And this time for the action, we're going to say Show the layer called Unfinished. That's what I named that layer. And when do we want that to happen? We want it to happen when the user clicks on the next button, but again, only under certain conditions, right? So we're going to click the Show Conditions button. And here are our, our conditions. We want that layer to show up if any of these three fields are set to a value other than a positive value, right? So I'm going to click on plus to create a, a condition. And again, we're going to be working with the variables associated with those numeric fields. So we're going to say, for the first one, if pound is less than or equal to zero. So less than or equal to a value of zero, that's one of our conditions. Another condition, and this time I'm actually going to change this and or up here because I don't need all three conditions to be true, I just need any of them to be true. So I'm going to say or, the variable called yen is less than or equal to zero. And then the third one is or the variable called peso is less than or equal to a value of zero. So that's how we can set up that behavior so that the layer appears when we want it to. So now if we preview this, what's going to happen is if I enter a value in one of these fields but not the rest, I can click Next, but I'm going to get that message saying I need to enter something in all of them. So now if I enter a value in all three and then click Next, then I'm able to move on.